Hello, today I am going to show you how to create a project and data set within Amazon Recognition Custom Labels to build and train a custom computer vision model that detects objects and scenes in images. To start out, we need to go to the Amazon Recognition product page. So from the AWS Management Console, I am going to type into the search bar recognition and then choose the option for Amazon Recognition. It will get us to the Amazon recognition product page. Here I will click on the use custom labels. Then I will click on the hamburger icon on the top left and click on projects. Since this is my first time using Amazon recognition custom labels, I will be prompted to create an S3 bucket. This S3 bucket is created automatically for me with the correct permissions and is used to store different project files. I will also take a note of the S3 bucket name. This will be created for me as it will be required in the later half of the video. Now I will click on create S3 bucket. Once the bucket is successfully created, I will click on create project and I have to give it a name. This particular use case is going to be around classifying different images of rooms in a home. So I will call it home classify project. And I'll click on create project. After the project is created, the project page offers step-by-step -step directions on how to train and evaluate your model. In addition to this, it also highlights the pertinent details such as the date and time when the project was created along with a list of all the models that has been trained within. Since this is a new project and no models have been trained yet, that's why this list is empty for now. We'll start with the first step which is to create our data set. On this console you have two options. The first is you can upload a single data set and let us split the data set behind the scenes for you. In this case during the training stage we will by default choose 20% of your data set and place it to the side as test data set. Your model will then be trained on the remaining 80% of the data set. And once your model is trained, it will evaluate the performance of your model on the remaining 20% of the data set. Or you may upload the training and the test data set separately using the second option. For this video, we are going to choose start with a single data set and use the default split capability during the training stage. Now we have to import images into this data set. There are four options which are available to import images. You can import images from S3 bucket. You can upload images from your computer. If you have an existing Amazon recognition custom labels data set you can copy that or you can also import images labeled by Amazon SageMaker ground truth. In this video we will use import images from S3 bucket. I haven't actually uploaded any images yet so I will now go to the S3 bucket that was created earlier and upload some images there. Now I am in the Amazon S3 service. I use the search bar to search for the bucket that was created earlier. So I'll select the bucket. Then I will click on upload. I'll click on add folders. And I'll select the folder which contains all the images of the rooms in a house. And I'll click on upload. I'll scroll down. 
and select the upload button. This will take a little while to upload all of my images to Amazon S3. I've skipped ahead a bit and as you can see my files have finished uploading now. I'll click on close. Now I'm going to click on the real estate folder in my S3 bucket. Here once, once I click on the real estate photos you can see my different folders. Each of these folders represent a different class that I want my model to learn and each folder contains images of that particular type of room. Amazon recognition custom labels will use these folder names to automatically generate my class labels for me once my data is imported. So from this root folder I am going to click copy S3 URI then I'm going to go back to the data set page. Now I'm back to the data set page of the home classify project. I'll paste the value here. Then I'm going to click on automatically attach labels to images based on folder name. And this will attach the labels as we described before. I'll scroll down to the bottom and click on submit. After a few minutes, as you can see, my images have been imported and automatically had labels applied for me. These are the images which already have labels applied to them. So that's how you can create a project as well as create a data set in Amazon Recognition Custom Labels by importing images from Amazon S3. Check out our other videos to see how to train and deploy a model using this data set as well as other ways to import data into Amazon recognition custom labels.